not knowing that the Plutonian is back, the powers that be wanted to get things back in control, for the Plutonian had left the planet in disarray, having no president, vice president, or anyone who was elected in power, for the Plutonian had killed them all, the less powerful senate were forced to end up with an unelected military leader as the acting president of the country, by the name Donald Elict, who himself had his hands full, and not knowing if he would be accepted as the leader of the country, for two things are surely stuck against him at the moment. Firstly, he only has military experience, not to negate his leadership quality, but to be factual and sincere. Being a leader of a battalion of soldiers is way different in leading a nation, for politics can be narrowly steep, and seriously, the problem is that he is not an elected leader, which makes him a bit uncomfortable in leading. But in truth, there was no one bold enough to lead the country. There was a secret underground gathering of world leaders, whom at the moment thought they were free from the madness of the Plutonian. And also at the gathering were shareholders and corporate powers coming together to rebuild the world. As world leaders commit in disregarding all their political disagreements and becoming united as one. As the peaceful accord was still in its infancy, there was a black alert which spells danger. It was the Plutonian who was unleashing his anger on the world. This was punishment for the ungratefulness and worst of all thinking they have gotten rid of him. He struck with vengeance. He wanted the world to know he is back and in charge, letting them know that no one can stop him. He is in charge and that he is God. The Paradigm were aware of his return and they were very, very scared as the Plutonian causes more ruins and destruction all over the place, burning down cities after cities and countries after countries. He was mad. He was brutal as he wiped out the lives of people from the face of the planet. Two days later, after the whole fiasco by the Plutonian, there was a protest against heroes and vigilantes. The people's anger was more towards the survivor, the self-proclaimed leader of the people, for he had failed them. Mad at his new recruits who were afraid to go out in public, the survivor wondered why they disobeyed his orders to hit the streets in which they replied him in asking him how he was going to protect them from the Plutonian. But the survivor was more mad at them for being cowards, citing their fears to the survivor that in going to the streets to put things in order was not a very good idea, for the people were not happy with heroes and vigilantes at the moment, that going out there will make things worse for the riot and the protest by the people was because the survivor promised to protect them from the wrath of the Plutonian. But he failed, in which led the survivor to lie that everything was under control and Qubit has a plan, for he just spoke to him. But Burroughs knows this to be a lie, for Qubit was nowhere to be found. And survivor mentally warned him to keep mute and say nothing. In North Korea, the only place left where the Plutonian didn't unleash his rage after sexual intercourse with Cotter, the Plutonian wasn't feeling her. In fact, he thought Cotter was different back in Genom, in which infuriated her as she snared at the Plutonian, saying to him that he was weaker back in Genom. In a rage, seeing this as an insult to him, grabbed Cotter by the neck as he withheld from punching her, wondered why she withheld in scratching herself when he was about to attack her, in which she told him that she doesn't see him as an opponent and asked him a question no one has ever asked him. What does the Plutonian want from the world? The rebellion of the new recruits to the Paradigm continued as they refused to show their face in public to keep the peace. This surprised the survivor who was shocked that they were afraid of ordinary people. But that wasn't their point. They were afraid of the Plutonian. At the same time, mentally communicating with Burroughs in telling him the whereabouts of Qubit and Kaidan, in which Burroughs let him know that he can't find them. All of a sudden, there was a blast and an explosion at the walls of the Paradigm's headquarters, followed by a very loud screech from Mudansi as the Plutonian and his super allies bashed their way into the building. The Plutonian found it funny that the new recruits to the Paradigm were crooks and villains he sent to prison. As the survivor blasted an unaffected con, the Plutonian grabbed one of the new recruits and threw him at the survivor to deflect his blast. Then the survivor ordered Burroughs to mentally look into the Plutonian's mind to know his next move. As he ventured to read the Plutonian's mind, what he saw terrified him as he ran off in fear. A furious survivor ordered his new recruits to go on the attack for they outnumber the Plutonian and his super allies. As one of them approached Modansi, Carter scratched herself as the head of one of the new recruits rolled off his body.
body. So the Plutonian asked the survivor why did he send Qubit to bring him back home to Earth. A shocked survivor was unaware of this and to his dismay he did this with Modius as he had forgotten that he lied to the new recruits that he just spoke to Qubit about a plan. They questioned the survivor's sincerity about his lies to them. Before he could defend his standpoint he was attacked as they turned on him for they know that the Plutonian will kill them no matter what. But before that happens the survivor must die first in which he told them that he wasn't the enemy that they should focus their attack on the Plutonian who was watching and laughing at them attacking the survivor their leader. Saying that he couldn't handle them the survivor ran for his life in search for Burroughs mentally trying to communicate with him but he got no answer for he wanted to know the Plutonian's next move but to his dismay he found a lifeless hung Burroughs.